God, that's safe in there. Yeah. I'm in some rude neck. Good God. How you feeling, Ruder? Piece of piss, mate. <laughs> Might sneak back down and fill my bottle up quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea, yeah. No, clever. You gotta work for your animals, though, don't you? They say that. These long johns are a disaster, mate. Get them off, mate. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Who's talking? Yeah, I did the last one. Right, so we've just come sort of 5k up the valley floor. Maybe, I don't know, halfway up this ridge we're trying to get up. It was a bit of a slog, but we've chipped a good bit of it off now. The top's looking pretty awesome. We've got a hell of a good day for it, and the rest of the forecast's looking pretty mean as well. So it should give us a good chance to glass a fair bit of bush edge over the next three days. And hopefully, we sort of want a big heavy mature stag or maybe an big old shammy. chamois that's sort of over nine and a half maybe ideally but yeah. for a big buck really yeah we'll see what we can find but a hell of a good start if the weather sticks like this we'll be way laughing yep we're on just stopped to do our first wee bit of glassing in here looks like there's plenty of feed around and big old tussock basins I will. Yeah, sounds good. Hopefully turn up some animals shortly. We were planning to head up up through there and into another catchment on the other side for this evening. We've just come up over the ridge here and started glassing into this basin that we were going to camp at the top of. And Pete's found a couple of chamois right up the top of the bluffs here, so see if we can get you a bit of footage of those. It's looking promising. We've only really started seeing sign in the in the last few hundred meters, so what do you reckon they're looking to give? Yeah. I reckon one of them looks looks pretty long. Um, yeah, I think we need to get closer anyway and have a proper look. I can't see any little ones, so I'm pretty sure it's a buck. But fills up this ridge a bit out of sight. Pop over when we're a bit closer, and hopefully it's a shooter. Too far away to tell if they're shooters or not, but we might sneak around and have a look. Beautiful spot though. Well, we've gotten a bit closer on this mob of chamois and there's three of them that one in the bottom left there's the one that we're sort of weighing up but it doesn't really Not the middle one. yeah yeah it doesn't really come back down much doesn't hook around much it's got a bit of height there but 
probably don't think it's um about nine inches I reckon. Yeah, I don't think it's quite a shooter. You can go and go. We're probably only two fifty away. Yeah. Two fifty just standing there. Go inside. I'm on a now. Could happily squeeze out. Right, those chamois sort of know something's up, but they're still hanging around, sitting at probably about 350 from us. Pretty cool encounter, and we're going to set up camp not too far away. Just down by the lake down there. Right, just left those chamois. I'm going to come back off the ridge and hopefully not spook them too much. Go back and get our gear and set up camp down by the lake and then probably shoot up over the ridge there and um, and set up for something last light. I think there's a bit of a promising head basin and a bush edge over there, so yeah. Got camp all set up. Plan is to head over this ridge in here. Tonight there should be a good gully full of bush for a bit of last light glassing and then back here for a feed feed tonight good stuff Last thing I do now. Holy heck, how's that for a last light basin? Unreal. Don't want to fall down just quietly. Just making our way along this ridge here. It's pretty gnarly. Bit of a razor back. And Pete's just trying to get a little bit of footage of a chamois just parked up at the bottom of the bluffs here. I think it's a young buck, he spotted us, but still pretty cool anyway. Another sham. It's on to us though. Way down there. Pretty epic spot. I think we're just gonna cruise down to that knob just down there and park up for the rest of the evening and see what shows itself. Pretty promising looking country though. Just don't know, eh? His tops aren't there. I but think he's old. He's got everything else. We have to get him side on. See if he's old. I reckon he's young. Yeah. If he doesn't have weight in his tops, then his lowers are awesome, though. He looks pretty good, eh? Lift your head, horn. Hungry. Right, leaving the bush edge now, making our way back up over the top into the catchment that camps in. One promising stag, about 11 points, maybe mid 30 inches, but not bad, and a couple shitters. Um, one good shimmy buck back down the ridge. It's been a magic wee evening, you know? Now we're gonna 
hustle back to camp and get some warm food in us because it is cold. Just back to the tent now after our wee evening session. One stag that was um, pretty good looking, just young, needs another couple of years, but for a slight tomorrow we'll head down to the bush again and hopefully catch out something a little bit bigger. Good to see something looking promising though. Yeah, stoked. Oh well, we're back at the tent now. Had a feed and uh, in the scratcher. Yeah, it's already starting to freeze out there, so I imagine it's going to be pretty cold in the morning. So mm. we might wait till the sun hits and then start yeah. glassing down this gully below us and then head back up around where we were tonight and move into a couple of new catchments further along that ridge. Boots already frozen. It's going to be a disaster tomorrow morning, but you know, that's farming. Good part of it. Just left camp this morning. Um, plan for today is to go along that ridge, up over that peak and look into some more catchments that way. Um, shouldn't get hunted too much, I don't think, so looking forward to seeing some animals. Just making our way along this top ridge now. Really glassing to that basin that we were looking into last night, but nothing really seems to be hanging about. So we'll keep going on up the ridge, up over this peak, and have a look into a few catchments over the other side, that one and that one. It's about midday on our last full day now. Um, been cruising around the top of these gullies, looking up into the head basins and kind of see right down to the valley floor as well. Been picking up a few animals. It's bugger all sign up high, but I've seen a few chamois and that sort of thing, but all the deer seem to be um, hugging the bottom of these guts pretty hard. And we're thinking that, I don't know, Possibly pressure from choppers are meaning they're sitting down a, a bit further in the gullies so we might shoot back to camp later on tonight and then um, head down and hunt some of that lower stuff tomorrow morning but you know we're seeing animals and we're seeing a few promising young stags so can't complain too much and it's pretty stunning country. Not a bad spot for an afternoon nap. Here he comes. Yeah. It's a good pig that. Cool colours though. And all the wee fellas. Had a good session behind the glass this afternoon, this morning. The gully's back over that way. Um, a couple of sham about up high and a few pigs, but we're going to cruise back over this ridge in front of us now. Looks just gnarly enough without ice gear, but we'll have to drag it into another catchment for last night. Let's make it happen. Starting to pucker up a wee bit. Looks a bit nasty going up the top there. But fingers crossed we can get over. Hey, just lock the hubs in, really. Put the hubs in. Close your eyes, mum, sort of job.
only bit of not frozen water that we've found for ages and it's right beside camp. Unreal. Oh well, it's a pretty decent day. Covered a fair few miles up around the tops there and yeah, finally got back to camp now. We saw a few animals today. We saw those pigs down in the bush line and a couple of promising stags and those chamois running along the tops there that we think were the, probably the ones that we stalked in on up above camp the other night. But didn't really see too much this evening. But now we're just going to park up, have a feed and pack up for the night. And then yeah, wake up first thing tomorrow and probably go and hunt some of those front faces a bit lower down above the bush and there's a few gullies we want to check out around there. So fingers crossed they turn something up but it's been a hell of a trip already. Yeah, a little cup of tea. We tip for young players. Sweet and condensed milk. Unreal. We sugar high before the scratcher. Accidentally had a bit of a sleep in today. Pete's just pulling, a, pulling apart the tent now and we're going to head around the corner and see if we can find anything on these last faces before we hit the flats again but it's another absolute belter. Right, we've just spotted a mob of stags down in that saddle over there and one of them looks to be a pretty decent one so we're going to get the camera out and have a look but we finally managed to start seeing animals in decent numbers. Looks like this low stuff's probably the way to go. But yeah, get sort the camera on and have a look. Starting to shake a little bit, turning oh, into yeah. some schoolboys so I think we're going to have to settle down before we make a move on them. Exciting stuff. So we've been leaving stags all trip and on the way out, tail between our legs, we found this mob with one absolute thumper. Looks like he's got about 15 points and he's just incredible. It'd be an absolute miracle if we pulled this off though, it's a nasty storm. They're in a disaster of a spot. other mob that'll see us as well. So there's that mob there and there's a mob which are all shitters. Who knows? Gotta have a crack. Though. We've gotta have a go. Let's get as much footage of him as we can. He's a fucking enormous dead wall. Side of that stag's a shooter. And all Will can talk about is Blake McDonald's. Yeah. Unreal. Hey Will, mm. how much would you pay for a Mac Attack right now? Um, probably over, well I'd pay $35 for a Mac Attack. $35? Yeah. It's probably pretty They're similar. On a slightly more important note, they've got absolutely no approach off these stags. <coughs> We're, we're a bit snookered. We're gonna have to use the shade, which is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Stags are about 500 away, and they're in that middle of nowhere. Um, no man's land. No man's land. We have to sneak down in the shade of, the shade of some bluffs, I think, and let's we'll see if we can get a crack. There's a couple of others there. There's that big boy, but there's a couple of others that probably be alright as well. One of them looks like a 14, eh? Young 14. Good looking animal. Will's just trying to sneak in on these animals now. But it looks like a disaster of a stalk, so... Fingers crossed, but it's not looking good. So Pins just snuck down this gully here in the shade. He's going to try and hopefully get up that wee face there. The stags are up in the sun here, bedded down. So 
this one in here be where they see him if they see him at all. But he's been gone about half an hour, so. Hurry up, Willie. My fingers are bloody dying. Big boy stood up. I don't know where Will is, but hopefully he's in a position where he can see him. Looks like he's a wee bit alert. Looks like he's got four or five on each top. Wait the whole way up. This is the animal we've been looking for the last couple days and he certainly ticks all the boxes. Sorry about my nose. It's fucking cold. Look at that, what a stag. What an animal, just beautiful. I think he felt that. Oh no. Fuck. I was just on my way down the hill here and um heard another shot. Will reckons he's absolutely smoked up in this gully somewhere. Um, fucking happy days, it looks like a monster. Let's see if we can find it now. Holy tops. Far out. There's five on this top too. And come off the bat you. That is incredible. Buddy. Happy days. Holy shit. Unreal. That's as good as they get. Woo Yes boy! Grab him. Oh no, look at the state of them. Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and eight. Sixteen pointer. Public land. Otago blood. Donk. One full of books, boys. Nice heavy bases, no coronet. Oh boy. Yeah, low coronets. Look at the length in his lowers. Carries right up. Almost perfectly symmetrical. Well, he is. Yeah. Fantastic. You happy, Absolutely boy? Absolutely stoked. You couldn't hope for anything else, really. Scrounge some coins together for a taxi dermist. Right. Well, I made it down that road to Wee Way. Managed to get out of sight for a fair bit of the stalk and probably got into about 3.50 and, um, and lined up and gave him a yell and none of them were wanting to stand up and um, yeah after a bit of yelling they finally stood up and he was arse on for a hell of a long time and man it was frustrating but um, yeah finally he turned around and I had a crack and he stayed up and I had a couple more and he ended up running around the corner and I was absolutely gutted. But um, I followed, I just came up over the ridge here where they all ran and I looked at the mob that he was in and couldn't see him. Turns out, yeah, I hit him with that first shot but just a little bit far back. But um, yeah, enough to stop him eventually and here he is. And we're not upset about it. He's an absolute dream. It's a long time coming, we've seen a lot of stags, passed a lot up, 
and this is why the genuine eight, eight on each side we kick is out the back so it makes him an evenish 16 and he looks pretty old like his his coronets are pretty low so teeth are worn out but yeah this is a surreal happy with him it's been a long time coming as well like a few missions passing up okay animals even at the start of this trip like there was a couple there that we armed an art about but yeah we wouldn't be stoked walking out with them but we definitely will be with this one so absolutely wrapped sort of said we wanted a living room stag not one to put in the garage and this certainly ticks the boxes doesn't it pins absolutely happy days happy days all right gonna take the head skin and put a tucker off him and then we've got a how long walk back to the car but that's all right, we'll it's have easy. a go. Sick. Just whipping the cape off. Never had to do it before, so hopefully we're doing it right. Gotta save up the pennies now and put them in the living room. There's coronet. Mess right around. And it goes all the way up. Piece of piss for me, mate, to be honest. Piece of piss. Got a long way to go, yeah. Pack full of dirty old stag meat. A few k's down the hill and then back along the flats to the truck. Will sort of just ducked off into the scrub. First shit for four days. I don't think that's very healthy, but he had to dash off awfully quick. Hard on the knees, this.